what's your current position? What do you do? Right now, I'm an engineer for core facility services, and my chief engineer made me the lead engineer now at my building. And uh, we're working, and uh, you know, it's 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 an honor. It's a uh, it feels really good to know that you're well liked and respected by your chief, and that you know it's it's a, it's a great thing going. You know, how how long were you working there before he made you um, lead engineer? Four months. Wow. <laughs> that's a uh, that's uh, pretty impressive. Um, well, is, yeah, I I had a good teacher. I learned a lot. He opened my eyes to the world. So, Taurus, thank you as always, man. What What does your day normally consist of as a uh, engineer? Uh pretty much what it comes down to is you got to do you know rounds, walk around the building, make sure you uh, make sure everything is good. Uh, check the chiller, check the cooling tower, check the air handler unit, make sure the belts are running good, make sure the dampers are open at 25%, or if they're only open, make sure they close, check actuators, check uh, VAB boxes, adjust VAB boxes manually through BMS, manually or through BMS, and pretty much keep an eye on everything, you know, make sure that the whole uh, building is running smooth. That's what it comes down to. Uh, check, check your VFDs. Make sure you're getting good voltages. Make sure you check your wiring, chiller pumps, everything. The whole the whole shebang as far as uh, HVAC. How big is your building? Uh, it's not that big. It's 150,000 square feet right now. Uh, you know, they're internally they're, they we're expanding, but it's uh, you know, it's it's a good size. It's a good stepping stone, and you get to learn a lot every day. You really do. So. It's truly, it's uh, it's pretty cool, man. You were mentioning uh, you have chillers. What type of uh, chillers do you have there? Oh, uh, we're running multi stacks. Okay. Uh, multi stack, you know, and uh, all the air handlers up are installed by train. Mm -hmm. uh, multi stacks make some great products. The thing with multi stacks is that you know, it's it's a decent, it's decent, and if you keep it on and you maintain it right. It's, it, it runs really well, you know, and then it, you have the ability to basically control your capacity, your load limit, how much you really, how many chillers you want to run. I usually do that a lot through the BMS, like if my cooling tower is running low, you know, that's where I adjust it. So this way, less heat transfer, I keep the building cool enough, but I still adjust it, just enough cool air to pass through the entire building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, with your building, are they going to run the chillers year-round? Do they have, like, any uh, uh, commercial... Or is it like a... uh no well the, no the chillers run it's basically uh summer season and then once the winter season comes we shut down the chillers we take out the condenser tubes and we clean out everything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh I've had the uh actual you know I've had the honor to clean the condenser tubes which I thought was pretty cool I got to clean the screens I got to clean inside I actually got to see the anatomy of condenser tubes to see how they really how they are and how they come after, you know, after being used for a certain amount of time. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it's, uh, you know, it's it's pretty cool. Then I get to clean, you know, like the cooling tower fill, like open up the action panel, make sure there's no scales. Because like you said, it's like you mentioned a thousand times, the more scales, the less heat transfer you're going to have. And that's when you have a problem with your uh, cooling tower system. Yep. Do you do the, uh, the uh, testing of the uh, cooling tower water yourself? Yes, we do. We all do. We all take turns. We log it in. We make sure that it's uh, proper. There's not bacteria. You know, we we really uh, do the whole nine yards. We're yeah, so really a tightening group. It sounds like you um you know some facilities um they call other people in to do all the work. So it sounds like you're getting your hands dirty, which is great because uh that way you get to learn a lot. So that's that's a that's a great setup. Uh. Yeah, I am learning a lot. I actually have all the notes that I took from your class, and I still use it to this day. Uh, and, uh, you know, you like I said, I wish... I remember my dad, he signed me up for a program back in high school, and he wanted me to do this, and it was for free. Mm -hmm. And I gave up on it, and I quit. I went to college. And then here I am back again. And when I was talking to you, and, you know, all of this, this was, uh, this was pretty cool, man. It really... Uh, it opened my eyes to everything. It really did, you know. And uh, I still use your notes. I still seek advice. I always learn. And the good thing about, uh, you know, being an engineer is that you always learn something 
different, you know, and it's not just dealing with HVAC, deal with other aspects of the commercial, you know, electric, plumbing, but overall, mainly, it's still everything that ties to everything. Everybody has a different niche, and everybody, when they, you know, it's how much you really, you know, you told me, I remember, it, you got to keep going, you got to keep going on it. I, like I said, honestly, I was, I was about to pull out of everything out of this, but then, like, you... I remember, you were about to quit. Yeah, and I remember uh, you and several other of uh, my, you know, family members and everybody, my uh, mother, my father, my wife, my children, keep going, keep going. And like I said, I don't regret it. It was hard work, but I don't regret it. But, you know, back to the whole college thing, I did lose some time. I wish I could have done it sooner because, uh, first of all, financially, it's much better. Also, when you work for a great chief engineer like I do, I mean, he'll push for you. He'll let you know. And... He trusts you. So if you have a better idea, he'll be like, okay, great. So, you know, let's try it your way. And then if it works, it'll be like, perfect. And, you know, the, the thing is, did I, do I regret as far as college slightly? Uh, but, you know, having college degree in this industry is a big plus. I wish I could have done it sooner. You know, like they say, good things come slow, and sometimes they come a little slower. But right now, i got to say I'm extremely happy. And, Taurus, I can't thank you enough, man. I really can't, man. Listen, as, as guys like you that, um, you know, made, make me want to keep going, man, how long did it take you to, to actually get your job? About uh, eight months, you know, but the thing was that it was the consistency. It was the nonstop of looking to see what's going on, going to interviews, you know, being confident. And, you know, when you go to interviews, I think that's where people mess up mostly is that they're afraid that they're going to see the wrong thing. And I think the best thing you can do is open your mind and, you know, and be, speak freely because, you know, an interview can do a lot of, either can be a plus or you can do a lot of damage. Yeah. And the whole thing, you know, it did, it, you know, I had some, you know, I had some help, but, you know, like everybody says, you know, you got the job because you, you were aggressive. Yeah. And like I said, my goal is to, like, my goal now is to one day, you know, in the next three years or so, be in a high-rise building and, uh, be a chief engineer, work nonstop, and, you know, my family understands it, and I'm grateful that they do. But, you know, what it is, Taurus, it's at the end of the week, you know, it's when you see that, you know, you see a check, you know, it kind of makes you like, okay, you know, I, I got to do more. <laughs> and, the, and the thing is that, you know, uh, your annuity, your, your, your pension, your family, and it's, it's the whole idea that, the consistency, that element. When you're consistent in life, it's like you never fail. Yeah. And when and when you keep going, you just want more. And you know, I do see some guys. Like I had a friend of mine. He joined the. Uh, he joined and like now I see him like he acts like oh, okay, I got the job. And I tell him I was like you know this is not the end. If you're just looking to grab a cup of coffee in the morning and talk you know, and not and just look at your BMS. No, you, you go touch the equipment, feel the equipment, see how it's running, see what's going on. Like you said, you know, you did a video I saw the other day uh, with a young gentleman. And I got to say, it was, I always watch your videos. I watch every single one of them. And, you know, and when I heard that you opened up the school as well, I was like, you know, I told my brother, I said, if you're interested, we'll go there. Yeah. And, you know, this is to everybody out there that will probably listen. Uh, and I'm not trying, not saying it because of Taurus, but if you want you know, these other schools, no offense to that, they teach you how to pass the test. They do not teach you the theory. They do not teach you the equipment. I had a friend of mine, he finished one of the schools, I won't say a name. He went to a job, he sent me a text. He goes, like, hey, by the way, what is this? And I said, it's a Belimo valve. Uh, you know, it's a valve you put on your chiller side. You know, you shut off the chiller, uh, the chiller water. You sure? I was like, I was like, didn't they teach you this at school? He goes, like, no. So for anybody out there, if you want to learn theory, if you want to learn to touch the equipment, if you want to learn the equipment, HVAC school is the place to go. And that's, I'll vouch for it. I'll put my neck on the line if you want. But like I said, Taurus, you're doing an amazing thing. And anytime I could be of help, man, you just call me, man.